Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris. Let's make the galaxy safe again with our little snails, the Nautiloids. We're in a deadlock between the wall and the T-human hierarchy. And we're wanting to break it, but before we need to improve the composition of our protectors of the inner shell, which is our main force. So we need to uh, destroy some destroyers still. <laughs> like... Uh, the petulant maybe which names I don't know I don't swift sure no that doesn't sound right for the nautiloids maybe the mayhem and the mischief we are no mischievous guys we are the nautiloids I mean what can I say <laughs> We're respectable snails. And our problem at the moment is that we don't have enough um, energy credits, basically. And we may need to reconstruct something there. Let's see. Maybe this bio lab? Oh god. Need the bio lab here? Mm. Yeah, maybe we'll re need to replace this bio lab with something. On the other hand, these are all pretty good research planets and. We should maybe rather go and replace minerals, because we don't need that many minerals. So this would mean we would go for Kavzak Prime to replace things there. Ha! Huh. Let's see what we have there. Yeah, let's replace that mining network. Where the power Hub? No, a power plant. Reoperate this. This will be a power military planet now. Oh, alien specimen procurement. The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Neptulus has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Yeah, we'll try to gather these specimens, even if it might be a long time before we can do it. Let's see, are there any other areas where we have some bonuses on the... I mean this, but this is the clone vats. Huh. We should replace these. Probably. But with what? With a power plant? Maybe we could replace these with a clone vats then, but let's see. Spaceport of Kavzak Prime has finished its current. Yeah, we, are, we don't need the clone armies anymore. As we now have psionic armies. That's much better, right? So, Neptulus. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. We want an edict. Capacity overload. For 15 years, this gives us 15 energy credits per month, which is a whole lot of energy for that kind of influence. So it is really paying off. Complete the research of quantum destabilizer. A gift from Nautilon, that was. Um, 
They agitate the local quantum field, disturbing sensitive targeting equipment aboard hostile ships. Very nice. What should we go for next? Maybe the AI-controlled colony ships? I don't know. Maybe the X-ray lasers? Shorter wavelength than UV-based laser weaponry, but are even more destructive. That wouldn't be bad, right? X-ray lasers? Would improve our strengths. Yeah, we don't need the AI-controlled colony ships at the moment. Same goes for the cetramine refining, so let's go for the X-ray lasers. Uh, we have particles here. And we have a particle specialist. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, let's put him in here. Should be good. And Herzfeld now will be replaced, surprisingly, by Professor Sarg. And we'll put Herzfeld in the naughty. 60-year-old snail will assist research for now. And will gain much more <laughs> experience that way. Which is a good thing, of course. Oh yeah, the construction queues. But we're re-operating Kavzik Prime into a power planet, and that should be okay in time. Now, Kavzek. Ah, what would we need there? Another battleship of the Nautilon's missiles class would be nice. Yeah, we are only at 10.9. Hmm, that's not that good, right? Need to get more ships, better ships. Energy credits are flowing back well. Upgrade that building. And yeah, our physics research is also gaining ground. It's definitely pretty helpful. With Arthur Nicholson, he's available. What? There's no leader assigned. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the more realistic strength, right? That will threaten our enemies much more. Let's see. We have completed research of railguns, the latest in electromagnetic accelerators. Railguns use twin parallel rails to fire projectiles at incredible speeds. Nice going. Oh, we could go for droids now. More complex variant of a robot, often coming with pre-programmed personalities to better serve their masters as well as limited self-awareness. Or advanced railguns. All the superfluid materials. Hmm. I think, I mean, we just researched a weapon. We might go now for the superfluid materials. On the other hand, we have Renata Mendes here. Gives us a good bonus on these advanced railguns. Ha! This is the choice, and this is also a choice. Go further with the robotic path. Hmm. I think I'd, I'd rather go with the superfluid materials right now. Let's go for Herzfeld and let's put her back into the Pathfinder. Let's go. And what would the clone rats even do? Required for the creation of clone armies. Yeah, that's not, not too bad. We don't need the clone armies anymore. As I already said, we have the psionic army, which is much, much better. So, goodbye clone rats. <laughs> Go 
Do we have new and good leaders? Mm, not really. Governors? Not really. Admirals? Sometimes they are really good ones, but not this time. Generals? Yeah, of course a glory seeker is always a good choice, but... As well as an army logistician or a butcher. We have a good choice there. Spaceport has built another battleship. Yeah, let's go for quite another battleship here. We want to gain this power. It's absolutely awesome power. I would really like to research better armor too. That would be a great thing to have. Oh, and look at that. We have the Wily Odleron there. We could send... Um, that ship over there to research the project. Then put it back to Whiter. There are the Gulanta. There's something um, on the... Yeah, look, the elusive tar black. Yeah, tar black, black as tar, or what? Uh, is that that's in our vicinity yet? Ah, uh, that's a little harsh, all in all. But still, but still. Yeah, I'd like to keep the military academy here. I'd love to build some armies on Kavzak. Now we're back in the good energy credits without losing too many minerals. I think that's good. Maybe we can fill up the protectors of the inner shell to full naval capacity. That would be great. Ah, oh, but let's have a look at... Mm, Lucius is 82 already. I hope he lives for a little while. We might need this naval capacity still. <laughs> we might need it. Oh, we also might need a new Professor Zarg. Ah! Let's hope the curators live for a long time, right? The Umpanis are declaring again. Guotan has leveled up. Divya Sharma has leveled up. Have a look at the sectors. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's give you some minerals, shall we? Udlorans secured. The crew of the Naughty Pathfinder has managed to collect a small group of Udlorans from the icy surface of Nautilon's flesh. Secundus. These white furry omnivores wrap themselves into tight balls and roll across the moon's snowfields at aston astonishing speeds. One animal was clocked at over 80 kilometers per hour. This aided in their detection since the passage of their rolling forms kicks up huge plumes of swirling snow. Excellent. And, and more, and more. Uh, let's run over here. Where are we going? To the elusive tar black. Yeah, on Bagsh. How are things going there? Pretty bad, as expected. Oh, God. <laughs> These elder things... What do they even want? They want some sovereignty, yeah, but they're suppressed, so this should help. But it costs a little, right?
Maybe their leader will die and then that will end it all. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Wow, look at that. So many army veterans. Oh, a cautious one. That's a really good admiral, then. Ah, another one leveled up. Our intellectual. Very good. Oh, this means they have built a lot of stuff in the, in the Seekers of Nautilon sector, probably. Let's give them more to build, more minerals. Do we now have the full spaceport here? Yeah, we have the full spaceport. Let's go for another battleship here. Nice going. They were definitely gaining power. And why do we have less power now than in the previous one? Or we have 540. That's a strange thing. The elusive tall black. Oh! Ah, we have completed the research of X-ray lasers. These lasers have a shorter wavelength uh, than UV-based laser weaponry, but are even more destructive. Very good. Hmm. So what should we go for next? Maybe the antimatter power to improve our ships. Oh, that would be good as well. And it's cheap. So we'll go for the planetary power grid for now. Mm, I would like to have Rahul Sondaram for that. And the Prospero um, we'll get Kabir Pillai back. So, and we have researched Biolab 3 and 4. The opportunity to study the multitudes of life lets us find some common ground for all living beings. Foundational building blocks of life. What should we go for next? Frontier Hospital, finally. Yeah, let's go for the Frontier Hospital. It's so cheap, we just have to take it. And now, we have a lot to expand on. Hmm. Let's hope we can pay for it. <laughs> let's see, let's see. <laughs> there is a lot coming. Definitely a lot. Let's get this started. There we go. So, um, hmm. we have secured the Tal Black. After an extensive search of the seabed of Kibin 2, using a small fleet of mini-submarines, the crew of the Naughty Pathfinder finally managed to corner the elusive target of their search. A live tar black? The shimmering creature, which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals. Oh, wow. Could be added to our psionic army. That produce a sense of dread in most organics? Definitely. Was brought abroad th aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. Crew members on the Naughty Pathfinder that came into direct contact with the Tarblack will require extensive therapy, but the mission has been a success. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Um, now. Hmm. There, the mighty Tessergoid. Let's fly there. Very nice.
So, that was kind of uneventful, but in reality, we have done a lot. We have um, a lot of new research go coming. And, yeah, all in all, we can say that we're on a good way here. And we're definitely going to upgrade all the labs. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. See you the next time when we try to make the galaxy a lot safer again. Happy gaming.